All right, guys, you know me. I love helping you guys out. So today we're giving you guys five secret pro tips to help you become a better player. Make sure to pay attention to every single tip and watch the whole video because they all matter. They are going to make you a better player. Trust me. Okay, guys, right off the bat, we're going to be talking about aim settings and to get you guys more aim assist in the game. So first of all, we're going to go to settings here. I'm going to recommend an FOV between 100 to 110. I think that's about perfect. You don't want to go to some low 80 right here, like be like this, zoom that. Oh my God, this looks crazy. I personally play on 110, between 100 and 110, I think it's perfect. Uh, obviously, once you have this setting, you're going to be able to see more of the map and things are going to be low zoomed out. It's going to feel nicer. But then something you really want to do, what's extremely important, especially now that you can do this, is you want to switch to affected. Affected makes it a lot easier and a lot more simple, dude. Like this actually looks so weird to me because it's like zoomed in. And as you can see, like the way the gun shoots and kind of recoils, it's a little bit off with your FOV. So very, very, very important. You want to change this to affected. And the next big thing, you want to go down to controller and you want to change aim response curve type to dynamic. Now, I don't recommend this to everybody, but I think dynamic is better. And if you think you're struggling with aim or you need a little bit more assistance, this will probably make you shoot even straighter. So basically, you want to read what dynamic says really quickly. Reverse S-curve mapping for fine aim rate control, faster initial response that smooths out with higher stick uh, deflection. So basically, what this does is as soon as you move your stick, your first like a jerk or your first like move, wherever angle or way you want to move, it's going to be really fast and it's going to slow down and then pick up a little bit at the end. So basically, this is really good for kind of like snapping on people. And like if you, you know, if you're like me that like kind of like snaps around and goes like circles or like uh, not really circles, but you know, just a little bit twisted, you know, you're, you're, you're on point, you're feeling good about yourself. It's really good for those snaps. And the best thing about it is it, it was a little bit better in MW. I will say this, but in this game, it still helps and it's still effective. It helps like kind of aim this is cool and allows you to hit easier shots. And trust me, you want something like this. Obviously, like I said, if you already have a, a really good shot standard, then you don't really need to use dynamic. But if you don't, then I would highly recommend using dynamic for that reason. Now for tip number two, we're going to be talking about slide canceling and a very new slide canceling technique that has been unlocked in this game. As weird as it sounds, there was actually a patch recently that kind of messed with the slide cancel and kind of made a newer slide cancel that pros are starting to use now. And it's very simple to do, but you can still do the old slide cancel. But if you want, you can also do the new one. This is the old slide canceling that I'm doing right now. And if you don't know what a slide cancel is, it's something that's been kind of added the past couple years. But simply what you want to do is slide, slide, jump. So what slide, slide, jumps does is you slide, you slide again to basically stop your slide and then you jump to move, your, put your character up. So you do slide, slide, jump, and then obviously you want to aim in and then shoot um, at the end of the animation. So slide, slide, jump, aim in, slide, slide, jump, aim in. And this animation is really good. It sort of uh, kind of breaks the cameras a bit. Definitely helps you win some crazy gunfights, especially around corners. So let's say I do this. And that's why slide canceling is so good. Now in this game, slide canceling isn't the best. Pre-aiming and, you know, pre-aiming is huge in this game. Um, but yeah, you can still slide cancel people. You can still kind of joke people and camera them. And like I said, in this game, you don't want to be slide canceling everything. It's not as broken as it was in Modern Warfare. And the pull of time is actually a little, bit, a little bit slower than what would be out like a sprint out time. So let's say we're just a sprint and aim in. It's actually a slightly faster than doing the slide cancel animation. The whole point of slide cancel animation was to break the cameras and also you sort of ADS a little bit faster, which makes it a little bit more broken. But in this game, it's not as OP, but yes, you can still do it. You can still break the cameras. And what's really good about it is just the movement. When you're running around the map like this and maneuvering by sliding around, what happens is it makes it harder for enemies to like trace you and obviously hit easy shots. For example, let's say there's a guy right here and he's about to shoot me. And let's say I do this. I slide across, I slide cancel across. He's not going to be able to consistently hit those shots and he's not going to kill me. And I'm able to survive for that reason. But now for the next part, we're going to be talking about the new slide cancel before we go to tip number three. To do the new slide cancel, all you have to do is actually slide, aim, and jump. Slide, aim, and jump. And it kind of, it basically, it leaves you like, it's actually more like, I don't know what it is, like, it's like slippery. You like, it feels like you're ice skating when you do it right. And it is pretty good. But what I will say about this one is that you don't want to really do this with subs as much. I think for some reason it feels weird and slower with subs, but with ARs, it's actually really, really broken. So remember, you want to slide, aim and jump, but you have to do it together. It's a combo. We're doing combos over here. 
So slide, aim, jump. And then obviously you want it with your right stick. As you're doing that, you want to aim in or shoot or aim in the direction where the person is going to be. Now for tip number three, this is actually a very important tip and it's actually not known by a lot of people, but it can help you win so many gunfights or situations just because you have this information. And the reason I'm playing on Garrison is because it is pretty good on this map. And there's certain parts on every map that it will help you. So you want to go to your settings. You want to go to graphics. Then you want to scroll down to dynamic shadows. You want to turn this off, put it on all. This is very important because what it does is basically cast the character's shadows in the game and can help you in some situations. Now on this map, easily in the top of my head, there's actually two spots where this is pretty big and it's a big factor. So right here, when you're in this vent, if you go over here, you can see my shadow is starting to appear and the care anyone on this side can clearly see my shadow. It's going to pop up all over here like you saw. And what's going to happen is this guy's going to wait for the Enemy shadow to appear and he's simply going to wide peek like this and just pre fire me or just kill me because he knows I'm there without even hearing anything or knowing anything. He sees my shadow. So when we're in this room, you can see my shadow here appearing kind of like on this wall, sort of like that. You see my shadow, right? So basically what happens is like anyone in this area of the map or just preaming this door right here or just like this is as soon as I enter this area, this door right here, my shadow's automatically going to start casting on the wall. You see it? And they are going to easily, easily see that shadow. Now, here's two things that's going to happen. I'm going to walk out and I'm going to die. Yeah, simple as that. That's what's going to happen. No, but seriously, I mean, that is pretty much what's going to happen. But this guy has all the information in the world. He knows I'm about to be there. I'm about to peek. It's like it's like semi wall hacks. And he's going to either pre fire me or he's just going to pre aim the head glitch and have a free kill. So either way, I'm pretty much screwed. So that's tip number three. So make sure to have those shadows on. We're going to move to tip number four. Now, this is something kind of low key because not many people do it in like and in, in just in the world. Not many people like to use this movement and this technique. But it's actually pretty good and it's really good in this game specifically and what i'm going to be talking about especially like with submachine guns or just in cer certain gunfights i'm going to be talking about the crouch shot now crouch shot was actually really good in war war ii i think in black ops 4 was kind of good sometimes but basically what you want to do is you want to be able to crouch as you shoot now for me to crouch it's my right stick which is my basically my aiming stick so while i'm aiming at someone i can shoot and crouch at the same time and this is going to make you, first of all, it's going to make them harder for them to shoot you. You know, obviously crouching up and down. You see that guy just missed a shot because I was crouching up and down. But it's going to make it harder for them to shoot you. Second of all, on top of it, it can potentially help you hit shots easier. Because let's say they're in a head glitch or sort of like something like this. And you only see their head or like middle of their body. And when you start crouching, I don't know for some reason why. But I guess because you're dragging your gun up and down. And you're, I feel like the shots can be a little bit more accurate. So now, obviously, this is easier to do if you uh, crouch with R3, which I do. Or if you have a scuff controller or a controller that allows you to, uh, you know, basically crouch and aim at the same time. But this technique can be really effective in certain gunfights. And like I said, not many people use it or abuse it. But pro players do like doing it sometimes because it's just pretty damn good. And I just wanted to let you guys know so you know you're not behind of this um, meta. Okay, guys, for tip number five. Now, this is a very important one as well. Kind of correlates with the shadow thing because it's just another important thing that gives you a lot of information. Now, we all know Ninja makes your footsteps silent. But obviously, I mean, this is kind of like the obvious part to start with. You can obviously hear Ninja if you're close enough. It's a very faint footsteps. But when you run, you can hear Ninja. It's, you can still hear it. It's just very, very low. Now, if you crouch and kind of walk like this, it's almost impossible to hear you. It's even more faint. But still, if you're kind of close and you, you don't, you know, you just only listen for the footsteps, you might hear them. Now, the main way to be only extremely silent and basically where they can't hear you at all is crouched and aim in this is a obviously you can do standing and aim in but i think crouch and aim in basically negates it completely so this way the thing is about this is like extremely slow like you're obviously running very slow like working the map very slowly but that way they won't hear your footsteps this is obviously really important when you're trying to be sneaky or trying to clutch a big round and search and destroy and you obviously need to push up and you don't want to hear, let them hear you bang but now we're gonna elaborate a little bit more on that because there's more to it other than that part so in this game they actually made sound cues for other things now i think it is a good it's, it's a good idea obviously you don't want to be have everything silent and you know there's you do make sound when you do certain stuff in the real life world so 
one of the sounds you tend to make on this game that you have to be careful when you are playing in search and destroy or anything is when you drop bloop you make a sound if i drop boom even if i have ninja it still makes that sound if someone is nearby and, and trying to listen for you they will hear this boop or like even if, the, if it's this little like it does a little bloop and it's not like obviously it's not insanely loud but like i said if people are actually listening for your for the game sounds and actually care they will hear that especially like competing or at a high level so you always got to be careful when you're maneuvering around the map try not to like if you're trying to be sneaky don't just like jump down the stairs like this you know obviously just run down them just like anything like just always keep in mind you never want to kind of drop like sometimes you're forced to obviously I mean, you can kind of run like this and then like this you know you want to you want to be as low to the ground basically where you just kind of run off and it's not like that loud at all but even that you hear that look listen 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 carefully dude okay listen carefully dude okay we'll double kill listen carefully hear that boop basically sounds like boots and metal hitting the floor so that's one thing you have to be careful next thing about the sound cues is when you hop up anything mantle anything it makes a sound as well of him mantling and hitting the floor you can't really hear it on my you basically what you hear this that like sound of him grunting i mean that's basically what you hear the enemy hears it and it's very loud so always when you mantle stuff always remember that they can hear you if they're nearby the mantling sound is extremely loud this goes for anything anywhere you mantle i mantle here they hear that it's a big sound cue and not only am i saying this for you to be careful i'm saying for this so you pay attention and listen so you can hear them coming for you you hear this you hear this you hear all the mantling sounds from anywhere and it's a very loud sound that you always want to kind of look for in certain situations because it will give you a lot of information so mount mantling you hear that you hear that obviously also when ninja you hear slides so if i slide you hear that very loud that's why when you run ninja you also got to be careful if you're trying to be sneaky and you don't want to be heard to not slide around you want to sprint around and obviously if you think you have time or you think no one's really nearby you can like kind of slide okay i'm gonna sprint more so they don't hear me these are very important sound cues and stuff you need to know to compete with the best and be the best okay guys so those are my five secret pro tips that is really really important all these things are really important and i think one thing that makes a pro player really good is just all the little things like in call of duty for the most part like it you it takes skill and you have to get there but a lot of people can shoot straight right it's just the it's the other stuff that makes you even better but since i like you guys so freaking much this is going to be a quick little extra tip for you guys just so you know now in cold war it's actually absurd how high you can jump and a lot of people don't understand this sometimes and jump on unnecessary things so for example obviously these barrels here there's a crate here you know in your head you're like all right to jump on top of this crate i gotta jump on this barrel then i gotta jump on top of this crate i'm good right no in this game you can actually jump extremely high and you can skip a lot of these little things you just jump up you simply just kind of run as soon as you get close you jump do this you could do this in a lot of places of the map i bet you didn't know about this did you huh no well hey there it is you think this is this is kind of high you look at this i'm like wow i can't make that you can't <laughs> one last example just really quickly obviously they have the small barrels you know in your head you're like okay i gotta jump here then there that's kind of how modern warfare was right you would jump here to jump here and then you would go up top but like I said, you have high hops in this game. You can just simply cut here and then go up here. A lot of these things you can do on every map. There's a lot of spots just like that where you think you have to jump in the first little thing. Or like it looks too high, but you can actually jump up there. So that's just a little extra tip for you guys, especially for the people who didn't know that. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to drop that like if you loved it and you learned something new. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more tips and insane gameplay that I always post on my channel. Thank you so much for the love. We're going to keep grinding. We're going to keep posting videos. I'm going to try to keep going daily. And as long as you guys keep liking and subscribing, I'm going to keep going because you guys motivate me. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Much love and respect. Till next time, guys. Peace out.